हेलो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2023 दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन जेट ट्रांसफॉर्म फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम्स द क्वेश्चन इज दैट द जेट ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ए डिस्क्रीट सिग्नल एक्सेन इज गिवेन बिलो एक्सेट विथ रीजन ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस इजकल टू आर विच ऑन वन ऑफ द फ्लोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू एंड द ऑप्शन आर गिवेन बिलो डी टी एफ टी ऑफ एक्सेन कन्वर्जेंस इफ रीजन ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस इज मॉड जेट ग्रेटर देन थ्री एंड करस्पॉन्डिंगली वी कैन सी द other options now we will first we will see that condition for convergence for discrete time for your transform and how the region, how the condition for condition of convergence for discrete time for your transform is related with the convergence condition for z transform so we know that discrete time for your transform is a frequency analysis tool for a periodic discrete time signals and the expression for discrete time fourier transform is written like this one x e j omega or we can write x omega is equal to summation from n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x in e power minus j omega n so now if we see the convergence condition for dt ft so x x e j omega converge if x n can, must be absolutely summable or it must be a finite quantity so the condition will be mod x n must be from summation of mod x n from n is equal to minus infinity to infinity should be less should be less than infinity that that means that it should be absolutely summable or a finite quantity and this can be derived from this expression so this is the convergence condition for dt ft so this is the convergence condition for dc dt ft now we will see the relation between dt ft and z transform so the first one is the expression for dt ft is written like this and z transform it is written like this so if we compare both these equations we can write write like this one z is equal to e power j e power j omega so we can we can write this expression this final expression like this one and we can say that z transform evaluated at z is equal to e power j omega gives discrete time for a transform however this discrete time for a transform of the discrete signal is possible only if roc of x z contains unit circle this point is very important means you can find only discrete time for your transform if the of a discrete signal if roc of xz contains unit circle means roc of z transform contains the unit circle now we will prove this statement how this prove how this statement comes so proof of this statement we can see that first we will see that convergence condition for z transform so let us z transform of xn converges for roc is given Uh, this mod z should be greater than r plus and should be less than r minus so we can uh, for the convergence condition this mod x z should be less than infinity so we can write that mod mod x z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x n into z power minus n and this is uh, this must be less than equal to mod x n uh, means just uh, just put the mod mod inside the summation so we will get this expression and this whole should be less than minus less than infinity now if uh, this is the convergence condition for z transform this is convergence condition for z transform now if you want now if this roc of z transform contains the unit circle that means mod z is equal to 1 so mod z is equal to 1 so if we put mod z is equal to 1 then this block z power minus n block will equal to 1 so this will becomes summation from n is equal to minus infinity to infinity it should be less than infinity now we can see that this is the convergence condition for discrete time for a transform so we can say that if the region of convergence for z transform can uh, 
this region coming disk disk comes like this and this and if ROC region of convergence for Z transform contains the unit circle, then this satisfies the convergence condition for discrete time for a transform. So this this is the proof for this statement. Just remember this: if region of convergence for Z transform contains the unit circle, then this satisfies the convergence condition for discrete time for a transform. Now we will come back to the question and solve it. So the question given below is like this and we can say that the poles for Z transform is one, one divided by five, two divided by three and three and this mode will be also same. So possible ROC for Z transform will be possible ROC will be mod Z less than one divided by five. This one is first, and then second will be one divided by five mod Z less than two divided by three. And third one is two divided by three mod z less than three, and fourth one is mod z greater than three. So from this possible ROC for z transform, we can say that only this third possible uh, third ROC contains the unit circle. So this is the correct option for the this problem. So from the options, we can see that B satisfies the condition and it says that this DTFT of X and converges if the region of convergence is 2 by 2 divided 3 uh, Z uh, mod Z should be between the 2 divided 3 and 3. So this is correct and first is incorrect and C option left sided, left -sided sequence means this contains mod Z less than one divided by five. So this does not contain unit circle. So this is also incorrect. And last option is X N is right sided sequence. So this is mod Z greater than three. So both does not contain unit circle. So both options are incorrect. So this is basic problem from region of convergence for discrete time Fourier transform. Thank you.